En onder grote belangstelling is gisteravond de filmexpo Dimadoti geopend. Deze expo gaat over hoe de Samaka hun aardewerk maken. Die kennis willen ze delen om ervoor te zorgen dat het niet verloren gaat. Het kan ook bijdragen aan het behoud van de Surinaamse cultuur. De film is geproduceerd op initiatief van archeoloog Cheryl White, verbonden aan de faculteit der Humanoria van de Antonokom Universiteit. White geeft aan dat aardepotten van de Samaka in de open lucht worden gebakken, anders dan bij bijvoorbeeld aardewerk dat in een oven wordt gebakken. Now, one of the big differences with pots like these is that they're, they bake at a very low temperature. And if you, uh, we recorded the temperature actually at oh, 750 degrees Celsius was the highest recorded temperature. I had to get a special industrial, industrial uh, thermometer uh, to, 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 to take the temperature gauge. gauge. But um, it's what we consider to be low fired earthenware. So in archaeology, low fired earthenware is always attributed to African diaspora cultures. They just don't have the means to fire the pots at a very high temperature. When you see things like beautiful Chinese porcelain, those types of pots, they're fired at maybe 1300 to 1500 degrees Celsius. And also typically in a kiln, so in a controlled setting. These pots are made open air, they're subject to whatever the temperature is at that day, and they're also subject to how dry the raw material is, which is a big component of it. De potten van de Samaka worden veelal gemaakt uit boombasten, klei en houtskool. White zegt dat het soms jaren duurt voordat het rauwe materiaal gedroogd is, voordat de potten gemaakt kunnen worden. So for us as archaeologists, seeing this process helps us to, it will help us, and it's helped us already, to better understand some of the objects that we actually found in the ground outside of both the Pasi at an archaeological site that we've been excavating there. So it's a mess amount of knowledge. And it's also a cultural activity that's just not, a, it's not recognized here. It, it just isn't, it's not documented. The last documentation that we have about maroon pots, I think is your encyclopedia, Encyclopedia of Suriname, which was published just a couple of years after independence in 77, 76, about that time. And what it states in that encyclopedia is that the only pots that you're going to see in maroons are the ones in the collections, because people don't make them anymore. And it's not true. It's not true. This process has been going on. It just has not been recorded until now. So people have been making the pots and they use it. They use it for ritual purposes, for funerals, for um, women who have just given birth. Het idee voor het maken van de documentaire ontstond vorig jaar toen archeologen bezig waren met een project over de orale traditie in Boven Suriname. De film Dima Dotti is gemaakt in de dorpen Pikingslee, Fudunakaba en Botopassi. Deze documentaire is de eerste van zeven geplande activiteiten die tot september 2023 zullen lopen.